Now, while we're all stuck in quarantine for the next two weeks, I've decided that there is many things that you could do. For instance, you could play some games like FIFA. back now and uh i've just realized that like i've went on a bit of a tangent here and just having a go at the british public so uh just if you want to skip past two minutes uh go for it because i don't really care but uh yeah it, it, it's just it's boring but uh i'm gonna leave it in anyway just for people who do want to see that because uh yeah so in conclusion do not play fifa as uh it is terrible um but, let's talk about the coronavirus itself. So, as you can see behind me, stores have been completely wiped out by the idiotic public themselves. Now, we have all wanted to melt down because we have decided, well, since we'll all be on lockdown for a few weeks, we'll have nothing to eat. But no, if we all, like Italy are doing now, because you can now go out and buy stuff like food in Italy, yes, it does sound crazy, but that is the case. So, you can go out and buy food in Italy. Now, if us idiots weren't panic buying, right, we'd have a lot more food for when we're actually in lockdown. But also, yes, we are idiots, but there is something that saved us. Well, I wouldn't say saved us, but kind of, like, helped us. Brexit. Now, if you didn't know, <laughs> the EU, well, not the EU, actually, Britain, have been stockpiling food for when we go into Brexit in case it goes tits up. Now, technically, it could still go tits up, but because of this coronavirus, it could have screwed us over. So, I urge people, as much as I can, do not do panic, not panic by, by, as that, that is, is idiotic, idiotic and stupid. By just, just whatever you do, don't do that, right? Because not only is there old people out there who need to buy stuff, right? But there is Karen who is stocking up on her 50 toilet rolls, right? And is the one that shouts at people for coughing in the middle of the street. Now, honestly, that is ridiculous. So whatever you do, just an advice to the people, please do not panic buy, as that is stupid. As you can probably tell, Big Phil down the road is absolutely foaming at the mouth that he can't go out and buy 15 sizes for the lads. Right. But it's not like I in Spain because have a look at this clip of some people in Benidorm who have went out drinking and aren't following the police's advice. Other such social venues. <laughs> Says, it says there's a flu that we just all need to get over. <laughs> Have a beer. Happy days. It's not possible walk in the street. It's only for the main day. To go to the apartment. Okay. Is it beer, man? So good. So good. So good. Now, as much as I believe that these lot are a bunch of twat, this perfectly shows off British culture. Right. Now I know I've been a killjoy for most of this video, but this, this video tops everything. So first of all, let's break this video down. And uh, first of all, the bloke that is carrying the massive trolley full of beer. Well, it's, it's fair to say, no carbs before marbs for him, because he's waiting to absolutely lash down 15 beers a day, and then absolutely wreck up the entertainment on a night. Kids disco. Here we go. Then you've got Gaz, big Gaz. You know that he spends his Friday night at the bingo with the ladies and then goes down for a pint at Weatherspoons by himself. I mean, that's a life choice that I aspire to have. Um, you know, just absolute baller, to be honest. Then we have this bloke. <laughs> now this bloke is absolutely unbelievable. He is the highlight of the video, however, he definitely loves a good old pot noodle sandwich as, you know, he will be officially screwed 
when he runs out of pot noodles when we're all in lockdown. Think about how mad it is in about 50 years time we're going to be telling our grandparents like how this has all went on. Technically, we're in the middle of history right now. Like, if you thought that the people back in the day were, um, I don't know, Battle of Hastings, something random like that, right? They weren't going to whip out on Snapchat and go, oh guys, look at me, I'm in the middle of a battle, right? The whole point is, is that we've got this technology that in like 50 years time, we can go back and we can go have a look at this, which is absolutely amazing. But at the same time, it's also stupendous because you think about it, right? There's gonna be someone like J. Paul or something like that just sat in their bedroom going, Day 64 of survival. I don't think I can handle it anymore. I'm going to die. And that's where it gets ridiculous because, you know, this is where clickbait comes into it. And that is why, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to look at YouTube's effect on the coronavirus. Well, watch the news. Everything is about this damn coronavirus. We gotta stop it. We need to overpower it. We need to stay healthy and ignore it. Just screw it. What's up with this coronavirus? It's as bad as my Lisa Iris. Okay, not really. Corona is worse. With it in every continent, the whole world is cursed. Because of it, they delay a quiet place part two. So make sure to stay healthy and clean all of you. Stores are out of stock. Can't even buy cold toilet paper. Well, it's if it's only a person, I cut down with my lightsaber. Elon Musk agrees coronavirus is dumb. So let's hope by June's whole outbreak will be done.